Good afternoon. Welcome to video number seven, I think it is. I've jumped on. Um, it's Friday night. I couldn't decide what I was going to do. A workout or just a casual ride or group ride or whatever. And I thought, I haven't seen everybody going up the uh, the new Alp. I know I won't get to the top, but I thought I'd see how far I can get. Uh, I've got a little bit of time to spare. So <laughs> you're just going to give it a go and see see how far. I've not quite started it at the start of the route that takes you up there. I'm going to, I've started closer to the jungle and then I'm going to turn off just to save my legs for that first little bit. Um, I know it's probably useful for a warm up, but I think it's just best for me to get to it and, and spend as long as I can doing the climbing bit than, um, than warming up before. So yeah, let's give it a go and see how far we get. Kind of jumped on spare of the moment tonight, really. Uh, just put my daughter to bed. Put the baby monitor up there in case, so I might have to shoot off. Um, my wife's out for a little while, so I thought I'd use the time wisely and get a bit of extra mileage under the belt. I've got the next WKG ride race on Sunday. I'm not too sure I'm going to be able to make it. I'm supposed to be going out Saturday night. Um, and I'm not too good with hangovers, so it depends how much how much booze we drink um, as to whether I'll make the ride on Sunday or not. I haven't been out in a long time, so I'm looking forward to it. I nearly put it off, but fancy a night out. We've got the uh, ride tomorrow. So Zwift have completed the WKG kit, which I can't I can't wait to see everybody wearing, you know, the kit that Marcus has created. And we've got a ride tomorrow. I think it's three o'clock, three forty-five maybe, um, <coughs> where we can get the uh, awarded the kit in game as such, so we could use it. Um, so hopefully I'll have time to jump on that one before I go out. Otherwise I might miss out on getting the kit, which would be a shame because I'm not doing the ride on Sunday. But that should be quite awesome. Definitely looking forward to that one. If you saw my last video, you notice at the end the um the recording uh, of my face cut out, which is probably a good thing. Um, I've been running off a just a cheap version of a GoPro. It's quite difficult to edit with because it cuts out, it splits uh, the video files every four gig or something, and it cuts out milliseconds between. So every time you try to put video together, you have to realign the audio. So I've bought myself a... Uh, ah, that's gone well. Probably need to go right about that. I didn't even notice what I was doing then. Oh, let's go back a bit and turn around again. Uh, yeah, I bought myself an extra webcam to integrate with the, the recording straight from my desktop in the hope that it will um, just record easier and make the editing a little bit easier. So apologies if this comes out a bit weird. If I've cut, cut different bits of me off. I haven't worked out if you can crop the video like I used to do with the other ones. <coughs> there we go. So we're going to this time, we're going to turn <laughs> and begin the climb.
Right, so as soon as you turn onto the the route, the screen changes slightly uh, to bring up a, a more detailed map of the climb, showing where all the the turning hairpin points are, counting down from 21. Crikey, that's a steep incline. <laughs> it's all the way up. That's quite a cool feature. Let's just uh, count down and see how far we can get to. Okay, so we've reached the first checkpoint, number one, or well, number 21 really, 20 to go, that's taken seven, six and a half, seven minutes I think, you know like that, it's going to take quite some time, but I've settled into a pace, don't want to push myself too much, <coughs> and I hope that just settling into a nice pace means that I can get a bit further. <coughs> the reason I wanted to do this was, <coughs> well, hey, just to test myself. But I was in the uh, training ride that I did on Wednesday, I felt quite strong. <coughs> so I thought, yeah, I'll give this a go. I'm feeling alright actually. I'm riding around 200 to 210 watts which is about ju only just under my FTP so theoretically I should at least be able to get to an hour mark if not a little bit more um, I don't know how far that will get me up let's be waiting and see This bit's quite cool. So then through a, a sort of an underpass, cut into the into the mountain slightly. A little bit like the uh, the mountain hill, um, with glass on the outside going up. Two checkpoints done, just coming past 19. A little house on the left hand side, <coughs> quite a short one from 20 to 19. There, a couple of smaller ones coming up, but with quite strong gradients. <coughs> Coming down uh, round turn 17, and the, the village has come into view. The thing that's fantastic about this is they haven't just plonked a course on a hill and said, There you are, go for it. The amount of attention to detail they've put into well, all of their expansions is insane. Just like fence posts and lighting, street lights all the way up, little lanterns, animals. The amount of time, effort and work that must go into it, it's phenomenal. And it just looks incredible. Fair play. So 
we so while we've just done this slightly easier bit um, obviously the last video was saying how I'd get on the diet um, for a good few days lost a couple of pounds good news and I've been sticking to it so well may it continue apologies I've got a bit of a sniffle just come on since I've started this ride um, yeah so sorry if that's annoying you a bit but yeah so it's going well it's been eating well seeing the results as well um, and also feeling stronger on the bike so it's all feeling quite good at the moment which is the whole point behind doing these videos so that's good news um, yeah and apologies if you apologies if you can hear my bike creaking in the background I've just had delivered uh, a range of tools and stuff I normally get my bike serviced by a local bike shop um, but this is the bike I used just for Zwift um, I bought another bike for outside last year so this hasn't really been looked after for a little while um, and having never done it myself I thought I'd buy the tools so I'm just waiting for the, the stand to arrive I'm going to break it down clean it up hopefully it'll feel a little bit smoother and uh, less noisy that's the hope anyway just coming around to 15 so almost there yeah quite cool graffiti on the floor just heading up to 14 and then quite a long section up to 13 by the looks of it still feeling okay my arse is the bit that's hurting still I mean I'm 45 minutes and that's the bit that I'm struggling with unfortunately if I stand up and push my heart rate shoots up and I struggle to, to control the power and stuff so whilst it'll give me the backside of rest it doesn't help me in the in the long run I'll keep going try and ignore it <laughs> got to checkpoint 13 oh, I just need a two two or three minute break give myself a bit of a rest and interestingly graffiti on the row there said it was halfway there I don't know whether that's an optimistic message because not not halfway there in terms of countdown numbers uh, we're at 13 not quite halfway there maybe as we're getting close to the top they get closer together obviously because you're reaching the top of the mountain maybe um, yeah I'm just gonna have a couple of minutes break and crack on in a sec right okay we're off again interesting how the uh, the time of your work your total time on Zwift stops when you stop but the segment time for the out the Zwift doesn't which makes sense <coughs> So if that was right and we are halfway there, and it takes the same amount of time again, it's probably another 45 minutes away from getting to the top, uh, which is about <laughs> all the time I've got left. So I might run out of time rather than ability, although 
my arm's starting to hurt a little bit now. I need to stop. So I'm not sure I have got it in me to to get to the top. Although interestingly, my mindset's changed to get into the top rather than just how far I can get. Which might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing. I guess we wait and see. Oh, another thing I've realised is I haven't actually eaten anything since lunchtime. And it's now 10 to 9 in the evening. It's probably not the best thing to be doing before climbing up the Alp. Uh, I've had an energy gel. I'll have another one in a little while. Um, so that's not helping me at all, I'm sure. But I'll keep going. I'll keep going until I can't go anymore. Going down turn 12. There's a couple of these uh, sort of castle turrets on the way up, sort of overlooking the, the mountain on the corners. Right, so that's 11 stars out of 22. Halfway there on the stars. Oh, it's starting to hurt now. Just have to take a couple of seconds again. Oh, this is where I seriously regret the weight that I am. Because I'd be going. I know. I know. I'm not putting out a, a massive number of watts, but I'd be going up. I'd be going up this hill quicker if I wasn't as big as I was. That's for sure. What we're we doing now? 69 minutes. So it's an hour and nine minutes. Most people have done it in that time, or a lot of people have done it in that time. And what have they still got? Eight or nine left to go. Oh. Right, just coming past checkpoint number seven. Lots of uh, tents here. We're just disappearing above the clouds, I think. I can't even see checkpoint mark six. That must be quite a way away, but I'm gonna have another couple of minutes break. I'm not sure how much further I can keep going. Every little bit now, bit now is a is a hard slog. I'll see what a break does. Get back to it in a sec. Right, off we go again. Just leaving, I think that was checkpoint seven, on the way to checkpoint six. 
I've just had a look at the course map. And the checkpoints from here on in seem quite a distance from each other. So, there's no way I'm getting to the top, I don't think. But I'll still go as far as I can. Now, however far that is, I'm going to enjoy the descent back down again. I'm already at my time now. Um, although I am going to keep pushing. I um, until I get told to get off the bike, basically. Um, let's just take it checkpoint by checkpoint. Let's see if I can even get to number six. So I'm feeling pretty ropey now. Let's see. Checkpoint six. Just stop here for a sec. I'll be back with you again in a second. All right, off we go again. I had to stop for a bit. Of a wipe him from uh, a day out, so just stop and say hello. Nothing to do with stopping for a break or a rest or anything. All right, just leaving checkpoint six. Not a nice long slog. Heading up to checkpoint number five. We're now well above the clouds, nice and snowy. Checkpoint number four done. I need to stop again. Oh, I just can't keep going without stopping. Continually. Right, we're off again. Checkpoint three is quite a distance away. I think. I'm not looking forward to this one. This could. I keep saying the defeatist, I think this could be the one that beats me. But so close to the end, so close. But I'm really hurting now. Oh. Keep going, come on. number three. I have to stop again. I stopped a couple of times on the way out there. I'm just trying to stop myself being sick at the moment. I feel horrific. Right, we're on the way to number two. Journey to number two and then to number one look relatively short but could be quite steep. And from number one to the top is quite a distance again. Where we at now? 
127 minutes, two hours, seven minutes. Uh, I'm not going to be doing this in a hurry. If I even get there, I think I'm, my legs are just going to give up before. Uh, that, I'm going to be seriously ill. and then the top and this is the first glimpse of the finish line a little check of flag at the top I'm having to take this so slowly because I just feel horrific another couple of minutes rest and then go again right time to leave checkpoint two to get to checkpoint one and no doubt I'll be taking another break. Final bend done. The end is in sight. It's just a little while away yet. Oh, right. The last leg of this journey. No doubt I'll have to stop again before getting there. Lucifer represents the balance of the most bearer of Venus. The light bringer is the morning star, and the night bringer is the evening star. So happy with that. Oh, got a helmet. Oh, yes. Oh, genuinely thought I had no chance of getting up there. It's taken two hours and 20, <laughs> nearly 25 minutes of cycling. I hurt everywhere. Everywhere. One thousand seventy four meters climbed. I can't believe I got to the top. That must be the slowest time anyone's ever done it in. I don't care. Oh, so happy. Alright, let's spin around the top of here. So, I'll be amazed if I make tomorrow's ride now. I'm gonna hurt like hell tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably hurt like hell Sunday. And maybe even Monday as well. I hadn't, I certainly hadn't planned to get to the top. I hadn't planned for two and a half hours of riding. But once you've started, and you just see those, those uh, banners counting down on each of the switchbacks, because just can't help but go for the next one. Oh, what a fantastic hill. But I'm not going to be doing that for quite some time, I don't think. I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> so, this will probably be the last vlog for a couple of days. 
and I'll just get my oh, legs back, everything back. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to be jelly when I get off the bike. Um, just about to start the coast down now. Um, I've been looking into setting up a Facebook group, um, just in case anyone wants to follow and, and keep in contact. Um, I, I've had a look at it, but I, I've never done it before, so I just want to test it. So it'll be a few days yet until I see. Nobody might join, but it's there in case they do. I think getting to the top, any, it's just, if I can do it, anyone can do it. It'll hurt like hell, but seriously, any any people out there who are on the large side like me or struggle uh, to put what, a decent number of watts out or whatever, don't hesitate to give it a go. It's just a great feeling if you get to the top. It will hurt, and I had to stop on it a few times on the way up, but I'm going to enjoy this. Weird coasting down a hill on a computer. It's not quite the same as coasting down a hill in real life, but I'm going to enjoy it anyway. So uh, yeah, until next time. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next the video.